I'm Daniel Bonacorso, and welcome to the first episode of our How To Digital Gaming series, where we will walk through the process of finding, purchasing, downloading, and installing games digitally from the Microsoft Store on Xbox. Plus, at the end of the series, we'll also cover some great Xbox features that tie into your games library. Today, I'm excited to show you how to navigate the store on the Xbox Series S and talk about some cool changes and new features that will help you find your next game straight from the comfort of your couch. The Microsoft Store on Xbox has received a huge facelift for Xbox One and the Series S and X. It's now faster and easier than ever to navigate and find the games that you're interested in. Just open the guide and open the store from the icon on the bottom. When you do, you'll be greeted by your home page, which will have a couple of banners and quick access to the search, deals, and subscriptions. Let's jump right in with search. You'll notice at the top the current trending apps and games on the store. We'll go ahead and search Watch Dogs Legion. I'll just choose one of these suggested searches here. And when you do, you'll see that you get an instant look at all of the various editions and bundles of the game. Once you're at the game's store page, you can see the details about the game, screenshots, trailers, and more. Oh look, a wishlist button. I'll add this to my list for now. The Microsoft Store almost always has deals going on, so let's check in on those now. At the top of the deals page is the deals spotlight, where we show some of the best deals and bundles happening right now. This isn't limited to just games, but also movies and TV shows as well. If we scroll down a bit further, you can also check out the deals with gold and some Xbox Game Pass exclusive deals. Don't mind me, I'm just going to quickly add this to my wishlist too. As we've been going through this walkthrough, I've been adding some games to my wishlist. Let's go check on those now. Looking at my wishlist, we can see the two games I recently added, plus some others I had already added before. If I open the settings for the list, you'll see a box that says Notifications On. This will notify me at my Xbox dashboard the next time any of the games in my wishlist go on sale, which is a great way to save some money for games you're willing to wait for. There are a lot of ways to check out all of the games that Xbox has to offer. Luckily, we have some helpful categories to help you find your next game. You can look through the top free games, the top paid, games that are picked for you based off your play history, upcoming titles, demos, and more. You can also check out all of the games that are offered as a package in various subscription services such as Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Live Gold, and EA Play. Xbox is also the console with the largest backwards compatible library, so you can even find games that go all the way back to our first Xbox. Many of these come with graphic enhancements as well, so check that out on the Series S and X. That covers how to find your next game on the Microsoft Store on Xbox. In the next episode, we'll do a walkthrough of the purchase process and cover some more great features. Thanks for tuning in, this is Daniel, signing off.